I ate Detroit style pizza in Colorado actually and I ate the pizza and I remember thinking how does Pittsburgh not know what Detroit style pizza is we got to bring it back home because Pittsburghers don't know that style of pizza they either associate it to deep dish which is Chicago but Detroit style pizza is kind of meant to be that crispy bottom but light on top a little bit taller than an inch, but should be under two inches tall. The outside is actually a cheddar cheese layer. We do a par-bake process. When we come back and bake that pizza for the second time, it'll get this nice crispy bottom and the outside of that cheddar cheese will crisp up like a cheese it And then we sauce and garnish over top and make it a uh, really exciting pizza. Our dough sometimes has been described as angel food cake that's pizza, pizza that's a cloud. I thought about the pizza as a bread baker. I didn't think about it as a chef. It took me about a year, but I started tinkering with different types of organic flour, different types of yeast percentages, water percentages, no oil, do you use oil? We sold out pretty much every day for a month or two. It was pretty extreme. My favorite is kind of the white pie. It's the one that Pittsburgh kind of gravitated towards. It's a vegetarian pizza with caramelized onions, ricotta. Uh, we marinate and roast the tomatoes before they go on it. We do this lemon vinaigrette with tossed baby arugula and shaved two-year parmesan over top. It's pretty good. Their Detroit red top pie, it's just Classic natural casing pepperoni, uh, red sauce that we make in house with uh, garlic confit, basil, oil, a uh, bunch of salt, yeah, a little bit of garlic oil over the top, and Romano cheese. Cool little tiny town with lots of interesting businesses and lots of great people, and so far so good. It's been a lot of fun over here. It's been nice.